So this is about 10 o'clock on Saturday, April 18th, 2020. Latte's exact due date, 342 days, which is your average gestation. And this is just the beginning. There, we, you couldn't see feet or anything quite yet. So when she turns towards the camera here, you, this is the first time we could see anything. You can see one little hoof poking out in the amniotic sac. And she gets up and down a lot. She would basically lay down, have one big contraction, and then get back up and switch sides. She actually gets up and down more than is even um, shown on the video. I cut some of it out because it gets a little repetitive. And then finally here we were getting a little more poking out. We had a little more progress going. You can kind of see she was having uh, bigger contractions at this point. This was maybe 15 minutes later from the first clip. And then you can see here, things were really starting to get going. We had more and more contractions. And here, I was actually poking around trying to find the other foot. Is at this point, we could start to see a nose and the face, but we still couldn't see the other foot. So when she laid down over here, I went over here to see if I could find the other baby's foot. Because really, they're supposed to come out with the two feet and then the nose, but we still only had the one leg showing, so I'm digging around in here trying to find the other foot. And it was right there, it was basically right by her face, but it had folded at the pastern. So the whole leg wasn't folded back, it was just the hoof that was folded back and just making things a little bit more difficult to come out smoothly. So right here is where I hooked that foot and pulled it out when she was laying down with her face to the camera. And then once I got that foot unhooked, unfolded, she basically came out right after Latte laid down facing this direction again. It was very, very quick. Once I unfolded that foot, it made it a lot easier. The umbilical cord was still fairly tight at this point, so we did push the filly a little bit closer to Latte so Latte could start touching her and licking her off without necessarily having to get up just yet. And it was a little bit chilly, so we were helping dry her off and everything. And sorry the lighting gets weird right here, but our solar powered light that was so nice and bright at the start of this whole process had pretty much faded out at this point. So I used the um, lighting editing in my editing program to make it so you guys could at least see a little bit better, but it does look a little bit weird, a little grainy. Colors are weird, but you can at least kind of see what's going on. And then at this point, um, because this pen is located right next to the house, somebody had turned on a light inside and opened the curtains on that window. So you can kind of see a little more natural light right now. There's the window. And this is maybe um, 15 minutes from when she first stood up for the first time. And she's standing up pretty well now, but she still hadn't found Latte's udder. So she was getting up, she had gotten up on her own, she was standing and stumbling around a little bit. Latte was finishing up licking her off and I did help her get to the milk bar and get nursing for the first time. This is her first time nursing. Because this baby was born a lot taller than Latte's other two babies, so she actually had to go down and then back up to the udder. So she had a much harder time finding it. She was probably the slowest to find the udder, but the quickest to stand up. One, probably the strongest of the three foals so far.
This is 12 hours old, where I'm holding her. And this is a couple days later when we turned her out in the pasture. And then in these video clips, she's about a week old. She's got a beautiful little blaze. Well, that's it for today, guys. Anno Domini Gloria.